envy and competitive jealousy has no place in my life. Oh, kata, 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 kata. Lefrero sheke lege ya gata, gata, gata. Hefe kete, 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 kete. Lefrero shaka, kata. Rudeness and lack of patience have no place in my life. Hallelujah. Oh, we see the characteristics of love in the book of First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 8. And you know what? Everything that's listed in that scripture, in that passage of scripture, is a reality in our lives. Hallelujah. As we pray scriptures like this. My love increases more and more. Ah, and I keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. Oh, Rabbi Shekredu Shakalagi Agata Kataka Takata. Embredu Shekele Boro Dushtadata. Oh, Kataka Taka Rabbi Shekredu Shekele Gea. Ah, Rabbi Zopre Oshete. The message translation says, So this is my prayer that your love will flourish and that you will only that not only love much, you will not only love much, but well, that you learn to love appropriately. Glory to Jesus. Oh, kata raba je predu shakata kata. Le predu sheke lege ya gata raba zem predu shakata. E veke te kere ba je preo soko. I kamandre o sheke re ba zu predu shakata kata. La prao soko logo yogo toko koro ka sandere doshta. E ke kere ba zeke lege ya. You know, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 8 reads, Love suffers long and is kind. Hallelujah. Oh, I want that to, I want you to pray that for yourself. I suffer long and I'm kind. I have the ability to be patient and kind while at it. Ah, mendre ro sheke lege yagata gata gata. It says love does not envy. Oh, my love increases more and more, and it increases in measure beyond envy. Ah, the Bible says where there's envy, where there's strife, there's every every evil thing. So envy and strife attract evil. And therefore, I declare in my life, envy has no place in me. Envy has no place in my life. I am increasing in the love of God. And the love of God is abounding in me. Oh, Oh, Calabara dia jekele gaya gata. Efredu che 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 che. Mendre o shipa. I kerebo zopre. I karaba jefre o sandaraba jeka ladia kora baza kata kata gata ka. Eke polo goyo goto. These prayers are important. That's why Apostle Paul deemed it fit to start some of his epistles with these prayers. Because they're important in our lives. Sometimes we are so quick to jump to jump to pray for the things. When we need to pray for the things that change us, change us from within. Because getting those things to us are not a problem with God. Like the Lord just laid on my heart a few minutes ago. He says that let go of envy and yours will come. Oh, Radushta, that word may be for somebody today. Something that's eating you up. Something that eats you up every time somebody seems to have or accomplish that which you desire. Today come, it comes to an end because love is abounding in you. Love is abounding in your life. In the name of Jesus, I am abounding in love. Oh, Rabbi Shekala di Karaba. I abound in the love of God. Erema Jepre Osaka la di Karaba Jepre Osaka Taka Taka Taka. I am a manifestation of God's love to my generation. I am a manifestation of God's love to my community. Eke Pala di Karaba Jeka la di Karaba. Eke Pala di Akoraba Jepre Osoko Toko To. I Karaba Jepre Osande de Doshte de Dede. Leke Reba Zeke Lege Yaga. Ha pranushta valadi 
Diagata, Hekep, Haladiako. We walk in love at all times. We walk in love when it's difficult. We walk in love when it's easy. We walk in love when our flesh is pressed. We walk in love when we our flesh would rather do otherwise. We walk in love. We walk in love even when we are mistreated. No, reveal it, Jesus. Because we don't handle things in the way of the world. We don't handle things in the way of the world. Love bears all things. Love bears all things. Love makes us strong. Glory be to Jesus. Oh, kata, kata, kata. Let's go ahead and continue praying that prayer, the prayer and that passage of scripture. It says that you, I approve the things that are excellent. I approve the things that I know and approve the things that are excellent. Hey, what's the excellent decision to make in every situation? <laughs> I approve that which is excellent. I missed other options. I approve that which is excellent. Ah, and I am sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. Ah, paladia koraba jeke toko 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 to. Efreo shembra so bolo go yo go taraba zambreo shika ika pala dia koraba zetre do stava eke madere kasoko lo go yo go taraba zambreo shika ikre o sipra shuko lo go yo go to koto 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 ko ifreo shimbreo sa galage yagata. The NIV says that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. What would you choose if you knew the future? What would you do if you knew the future? And you knew that A is what you ought to do versus B. Ah, wouldn't you make the right decisions all the time? And that is why this prayer has been prayed today, that I'm able to discern what is best. I'm able to know and discern what is best. What is best in God's plan for my life? What is best in God's will for my life? Oh, we're able to discern what is best. Somebody is trying to make a decision maritally. You are able to discern what is best. Someone is trying to make a decision in business. You are able to discern what is best. Someone is able to make a decision in ministry. You are able to discern what is best. Someone is making a decision over their children. You are able to discern what is best. We are not led by external forces. We are not led by external situations. You are not led by money. You are not led by mundane things. You are not led by carnal things. But we are led by knowing what is best. We are able to discern what is best. And we are pure and blameless for the day of the anointed one. Ah, Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Should I go there? Should I go here? What is best? Should I do this? Should I do that? What is best? You are inspired in the best direction for your life. 
o kabal dia to raba je pre o sakata kata kata etre o shipra o sandere do sta da 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 you know the new living translation says for i want you to understand what really matters mm. you know <laughs> many times we waste our time we waste our resources on the things that don't will end up not mattering at the end of the day ah what if we if what if we knew what if we knew to understand what really matters so that you may live pure and blameless lives until the day of Christ's return so our ability to live pure and blameless lives is tied to our understanding of what really matters ah mendre o shika la di karaba je pre o sakata kata you know there are needless activities we may get involved in needless places we carry ourselves to needless relationships that we are involved in that just waste our time and resources but as we pray scriptures like this those things are weeded out of our lives because sometimes we don't even know in our minds many times we don't know but as we pray and pray and pray and stay there in the place of prayer some of these things are weeded out of our lives glory be to jesus o ka pala di akora ba je ke le ge ya gata evre o sipre o san de de do sta da da let's read one more um a different translation and pray a bit and then dr k will be with us in a few moments amen ere ba je pre o sa ka ta ka ta ka ta ka ta let me just read this and dr k will come in he says you need to use your head and test your feelings so that your love is sincere and intelligent not sentimental gosh live a lover's life circumspect and exemplary a life jesus will be proud of bountiful in fruits from the soul making jesus christ attractive to all getting everyone involved in the glory and praise of god hallelujah hallelujah father we give you thanks Thank you Lord for what you are doing in our lives. Thank you because our love is increasing in measure. We thank you oh God because we understand what is essential, what is important, and we thank you because our fruits are bound. Even in this 21 days we are abounding in good fruit. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I believe Dr. K is already here. Let's welcome him everybody. Welcome Hallelujah. him in the, in the chat room. Give emojis. Welcome him. Welcome him. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are very much welcome. This is the first session of our 21 days of glory that will definitely turn things around in your life and move you move you move you into that position for receiving what god has for you the lord spoke to me just now he says one of the things i'm going to be doing in these 21 days is to position my people for my glory the art is about to experience an intensity of god's glory that has never been experienced before but it's going to take certain strategic positioning positioning in order to drink of God's glory God is about to take your life to a whole new level is about to expand your capacity the thing for today is capacity for more capacity for more capacity for more thank god for the scripture of the the for love i mean the pauline prayer philippians chapter 1 verse 9 that talks about your love about the more and more love is the nature of god god is love and when you grow in that love capacity you know literally your capacity to receive from god goes to another level and i see somebody being released into the fullness of the the, the capacity needed for the season i want to speak over somebody's life that you will not miss out on god's best plan for your season i need somebody to say i will not miss out on god's perfect plan for my 
this evening. Now, listen, some of you are friends that ought to be on this channel that are not here. Make sure they are part of it. Be your brother's keeper. Everybody get on it. We will try as much as possible to put the link on my YouTube channel after the session. But, you know, there's something about just being connected live. And I need you to be that. I need you to do that. You will not miss out on God's perfect plan. You will be moved into the fullness, the fullness of God's plan for your life in this season. I declare nothing missing, nothing broken, the fullness of God. I see an explosion in your life. I see an explosion in your businesses. I see an explosion in your family. I see God moving you from one level of glory to another level of glory. I see God bringing you into a place of opportunity and enlargement. I see God enlarging your coast in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mesotabaya. Can we just pray the Holy Ghost for the next five minutes? You know, one of the things I need you to do consistently in this 21 days prayer, I mean, 21 days of glory is to spend more time praying in the Holy Ghost. When you pray in the Holy Ghost, you build up yourself like an edifice that, that's increasing your capacity for more. I see God expanding somebody right now. God is expanding your capacity for more. You're going to take more at this season. Mataya kiato prolo kuakete yekiata karana. Ekekele kru mana yakia no yon kuasente yekia mene yekiato. Ombala kru mana yakia soto bo kuakete yekia. Ayayayaya. Gana kru mana yaka sada gala kote yekia so 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 so. O koko so 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 so. Ombala kru mana yakia soto bo lo kote yekia so to baba baba. Elekia I receive all that God has for me this season. Mato yo kru mana kia soto barala. Three more minutes, pray now the mysteries of God for your season. Three more minutes. Pray for somebody that you will end 2022 in a great way. The Lord told me this, this month is for your speed and for your strength. And I declare that will be your, that will be your experience. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice, that throughout December, you will express the speed of God, and you will express the strength of God. Somebody say that. I'm express the speed of God. I'm expressing the strength of God. Say, Lord and clear, pray it out in the Holy Ghost. Say, I'm expressing the speed, and I'm expressing the speed of God, the strength of God. 
le 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 kiando bobo lo kuwa manga ya kataya kataya imbro lo kuwa ne ye kia sososo bo kuwa kataya akaka tu yo bro lo kuwa na ya kia na ya kata kuto yo bo kata manta ya the speed and the strength of God we define your life we define every aspect of your life whenever there is weakness I want you to say speed right now say speed speed manta ya in my spiritual strength speed mana kuwa mana ya sota ba 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 strength mother yako dokri my marriage alaku sato yo kuwa kataya speed of strength of god we mark the december of 2022 where you are concerned in the name of jesus speed of strength everywhere in the name of jesus zakuto yo kuwa mana ya kataya igegele kuwa mana ya sanda brala kude yekia na katuso ombela kuwa mana ya kia sota ba speed of strength everywhere in the name of Jesus, he can get to show show. Uncle Colo from a day up for sir. No, 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 no. He can get there from a day up for so so so. Before I can tell you, Koba Kataya, I'm the lack from a day up here. Look from a day up so 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 so. Uncle Koto, you're from a day up here. Look from a lack here. Look from a day I'm expressing the speed of God. I'm expressing the strength of God. I'm moving in great speed, moving to all that God has for me in this season. Mata ya kuba na ya kia no molo from a na ya kataya no ku ko te ye ki an do bo yo ku 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 tu su 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 o la 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 e ge 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 le ku ne 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 ku no yo shon to bro lo ku ke te ye ki an na ya kakato ko ba ma se de be in the name of jesus speed and strength of god in your business speed and strength of god in your career speed and strength of god in your marriage speed and strength of god in your finances speed and strength of god there's somebody under the sound of my voice uh your business is, has been slow for months but the lord told me you will hand this year in the most amazing way it will be mind blowing mind blowing because from now to the end of this year opportunities are going to be opening up for you and what i saw in my spirit is that it's going to line up there will be line opportunity will line up for you <laughs> Hey, I, somebody needs to just rejoice if that word is for you. Opportunities. God told me, he said, opportunities will line up from you till from now till the end of 2022. Every single day of 2022, the remaining days of 2022, we bat your opportunities. Glory to God. Opportunities lining up for you from one opportunity to another. <laughs> Can I say this over you? Of your opportunities, there will be no end. Hey! glory to god hey, hey. oh my 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 i need to say that again i say of your opportunities there will be no end <laughs> somebody needs to say that somebody i mean you one of your friends you have people that need to be on this prayer line i know they drag them here tomorrow because this is not just your regular prayer line this is a prophetic encounter and by the way i hope you have communion communion elements because i'm going to be breaking bread with you in fact every single time you see me monday through friday guess what i'm going to have communion elements with me i'm going to break bread with you i'm going to activate the covenant on your behalf and those stubborn situations will give way did you hear me i said those stubborn situations we give way i speak as a prophet of god there will be nothing 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 that will still pose as a problem in your life after this 21 hey did you hear me i said there will all group but there will be nothing nothing that problem that has been in your family that has been in your that has been in your health for so long we give way because God told me he said there will be such a release of glory to tackle whatever needs to be tackled every situation in your life will be adequately tackled by the glory of God and you will break out into testimonies somebody say i'm breaking out into testimonies you are laughing in this season i said you are laughing you will laugh so much hey <laughs> the world will be a global lot god told me say i will give you a testimony that you will not be able to hide that's what is for somebody i will give you a testimony you will not be able to hide <laughs> you know there are certain testimonies that you can okay for that thank you and praise god privately but god told me say i will give you a testimony you will not be 
able to hide. Somebody say it. I'm having a testimony I can't hide in this season. Uh -huh. I'm having a testimony I can't hide in this season. I hope you have the communion elements ready because that too, as I break bread with you at the end of the session, my God, God told me, he said, the testimonies that will come out of these 21 days will be, will, will, will be so mind-blowing. It will be so mind-blowing. Mind-blowing, job-breaking testimony. Somebody ought to say that. Mind-blowing, job-breaking testimonies everywhere. God says, I will give you a testimony that you will not need to explain. Because everybody around you will know about the testimony. It will be so obvious. In fact, I will give you a testimony that people will have to share. <clears throat> no, there's a testimony you share because it's just you that know about it. But God says, I should tell you that the testimony I'm going to give in this season will be so much that everybody in your, in your, in your environment, no matter how conservative you are, it will be too, it will be too impossible to sit on it. Because it will be obvious. Somebody say obvious testimony. That's what I just had right now. Obvious testimony. <laughs> Mind blowing, jaw breaking, obvious testimonies. For some of you, it's going to be notable miracles. You know, there's a way God announces himself with notable miracles. He just announces it. I declare God is speaking you as a specimen to announce himself. There'll be a notable miracle, a notable miracle. And please, it's not about you, it's about God. God just wants to announce yourself. Now, I'm just declaring as his prophet that you are the candidate of announcement. Hey! I am the candidate of announcement. <laughs> Somebody is running around his house right now because that was just it. I am God's candidate to announce himself. How can Esther explained what happened to him from being a slave, from being an orphan to becoming a queen. <laughs> God just chose her. And that was why when she was losing it, she needed a Mordecai to come in and, and set things right. You're not that cute lady. God chose you. He chose you. Ha <laughs> ha. And when God makes his choice, his choice is made by grace. What is grace? Grace is unmerited favor. God's choice of you in this season is not going to be because you are the cutest, you are the finest, you are the most diligent. It's just because he chose you. And he sent this prophet to announce to you, you have been chosen. Did you hear me? You are his candidate of announcement. There's going to be an announcement through you a notable miracle that you will not need to explain, but that miracle will explain itself. Its manifestation will be so glaring that people's attention will be drawn to God. I said, God is giving you such miracle. I speak as his prophet that you are having such miracle in this season that we announce God. Remember, the miracle is not to announce you, but God. God is announcing himself. Who is that fellow that God is using to announce himself? So God wants to use you to announce himself. Hey, hey, I see notable miracle. Let me give you a scripture. A scripture that I'm going to insist that you, you cram. You must cram it. You must cram it. Acts chapter 4, verse 16. God has picked you. Say, so you are the candidate I picked to announce myself. Wow. What a honor God is giving you this season. Say, I'm picking you to announce myself. My Acts chapter 4, verse 16. It says, saying, what shall we do to this man? For indeed, what a notable miracle has been done through them. It's evident to all who dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. <laughs> so a notable miracle is, a, is one that cannot be denied. Now, they were trying to hide the power and the glory of Jesus, talking about the religious rulers in Israel. This was after the resurrection of Jesus. But you know what? 
God responded back with a notable miracle. Hey, Master Taba, I speak as his prophet, God's prophet, and I declare in your life in the month of December 2022, there will be such a performance and a manifestation of a notable miracle that announces God. That announces God. So what shall we do to this man? For indeed, that a notable miracle has been done through them. <laughs> hey! A notable miracle done through his disciples. A more notable miracle done in his disciples' life and through his disciples' hands. So there are two folks. A notable miracle done in your life and through your hands. God will wrought unusual miracles. The Amplified Science Fashion says, say, I'm reading from Acts chapter 4, verse 16. You better go, write it down and go and meditate on it. That, that, that and turn it into a prayer point. Is it saying, what are we to do with this man? This man, <laughs> this man, this dangerous man, for that an extraordinary miracle. So the Amplified Version calls it extraordinary. <laughs> has been performed by and through them is plain to all the residents of Jerusalem and we cannot deny it. I speak as a prophet of God that God through your hands and in your life we cause extraordinary miracles that are undeniable. Miracles that are self-explanatory. Did you hear me? Miracles that are self-explanatory. <laughs> the God's word translation says, they said, what should we do to this man? <laughs> you know, there's something about a breakout of miracles, a miracle that like, this is too much. These men are untouchable. Clearly, they have performed a miracle that everyone in Jerusalem knows about. Yeah! Everyone, so that is going to be an experience. I speak as a prophet of God. Every one of you connected on this Zoom session, that before the end of December, there will be a performance and a manifestation of a miracle in your life that everybody around you will know about. That's a notable miracle. A miracle that is self-explanatory, a miracle that is so glorious, a miracle that cannot be denied. Yeah! So everyone in Jerusalem knows about it and we cannot deny it. And that transition says, what can we do with this man? By now, it's known all over town that a miracle has occurred. I declare something will happen to you in the month of December that will be known all over town. A positive thing. Oh, Zataya Kriya Lakasato Bokuakata. I declare the God of serendipity will visit you at your house and cause a performance and a manifestation of such miracles in your life. Multiples, miracles, miracles in the different aspects of life, wherever a miracle is needed. I speak as a prophet of God and I speak in my apostolic office that there will be such performance and manifestation of miracle that will be known all over town. So by now it's known all over town that a miracle has occurred. No cause. Uh -huh. A miracle that does not need publicity. <laughs> a miracle that publicizes itself. That is your experience in, in December. A miracle known all over town. A miracle known all over town. <laughs> Such miracle has occurred, and that they are behind it. <laughs> in other words, they will know you are you are part you are involved in that miracle. He said, "There is no way we can refute it. A miracle that cannot be denied. A miracle that cannot be refuted." You know, there are certain testimonies when you give them some people who still want to use mind and science. To explain it and say no, 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 it's not just, it's not that spectacular. You don't need God, you know. If you are smart enough, if you are connected enough, you can have the experience. But no, your experience in this season is as such that men will not be able to deny or refute 
the hand of God. As I'm speaking right now, I see the hand of God resting on people in their living room, in their living room, in their bedroom, wherever you are, the hand of God is resting, is resting. I said the hand of God is resting, is resting on people in different places right now. Masuta, I said the hand of God with so much rest on your life in this season. And there will be such manifestation of help that people will not be able to deny that God is helping you in the most unusual way in this season. So the, 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 the religious rulers were looking for a way to silence them because they knew something has happened that cannot be covered. And that will be your experience in the name of Jesus. Notable miracle. Get your communion early ready. I'm going to be breaking bread with you in about seven minutes. But before I break bread, let me take you to Matthew. You know, we're talking about more capacity and I hope you are spending time or you are still spending time with the scripture for the day. Uh, the scripture for the day. Let, 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 me, let me take you there. There are three scriptures. You are built for more. You are wired for more. And I declare in these 21 days, you will have capacity for more. I say you will have capacity for more. You will have capacity for more. Let me share something with you. Okay. Uh, the, the scriptures, the, the three scriptures I gave you today, the first one is Philippians chapter 1 from verse 9. It says, and this I pray that your love may abound still more and more, more and more, more and more. You can do more. And that's why your capacity is increasing for more. So your, and your love, your capacity, God capacity within you, because the more your capacity to walk in the love of God grows, the more your capacity to produce you know, results. He says, he said, he said, your love will abound more and more in knowledge, in all these means that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense to the day of Christ, being filled. I love that. Filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Christ Jesus, unto the glory and praise of God. Then the second scripture is from Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 and 3. He says, enlarge the place of your tents and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. He said, do not spare, letting your cords and strengthen your stakes. And you shall, I prophesy that, you, you will expand to the right and to the left. He said, your descendants will inherit the nations and make desolate cities inhabited. <laughs> God is going to enlarge you and increase your influence. Somebody say, I'm being enlarged and my influence is increasing. And the last scripture, so I'm giving you Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 and 3 now. And I've, earlier on, I gave you Philippians chapter 1, verse, verses 9 through 11. The last one is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. It says, God is able to make all grace. Now, I want you to get something right. What God is going to do for you in this season to round up your 2022 can only happen on the platform of grace. Not strength, not effort, not anything in the natural can perform what God intends to produce and manifest in your life. And that's why it's going to make all grace, all grace abound towards you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. Hey, hey! So grace is going to abound in your life, causing you to have sufficiency. So the sufficiency to deliver is a product of grace. But that grace is going to be forth in your life, into your life, and it will cause you to work, have all sufficiency. Your merited favor of God will so much furnish your destiny this season. It will be grace all over because what God wants to do cannot be done through your mind. So his grace is going to step in. And as his grace steps in, you will have greater capacity. You will have bounding grace. You will have all sufficiency. And you will have an abundance for every good one. Glory to God. I love that. You are bound in grace and leading you to a place of all sufficiency and causing you to have abundance of every good work. Look at it. You are bound in grace, leading you to a place of all sufficiency. I love that. 
Somebody say, all sufficiency. Can you shout it? I abound in grace to a point of all sufficiency. And, and, and I have abundance for every good work. I abound in grace. I have all sufficiency. I have abundance for every good work. I love that. Shout it. I have abundance for every good work. There's a confession I put together for you regarding this. It says, my love of Christ grows in knowledge and insight, causing me to make best, pure, and offense-void decisions at all times. I'm filled with the fruits of righteousness through Christ, to the glory and praise of God. I have capacity for everything designed by God in line with my purpose. I am bound in all grace, having all sufficiency in all things to carry out every good work that is designed for me by God. I love that. Hey, I'm excited. Let me, let me read it again. My love for Christ grows in knowledge and insight, causing me to make best, pure, and offense void decisions at all times. I'm filled with the fruits of righteousness through Christ Jesus to the glory and praise of God. I abound in all grace, having all sufficiency in all things to carry out every good work that is required of me by God. Now, my focus for the first seven days of this fast is, you know, takeover, which is a function of the grace of God. The, the takeover that God is bringing us into as a people can only take place by grace. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 7 talks about the shout of grace. That's the shout that brings down, that brings down walls. It's the shout that removes mountain. Not by power, not by might, but the shout of grace. The shout of grace. And for you to walk in much grace, there's something that is very, very important. It is gratitude. So as I round up this session and, you know, lead you into communion, have this at the back of your mind, that the spirit of grace is gratitude. What is gratitude? Gratitude speaks of conscious expression of appreciation towards God, especially an expression of thanksgiving. Gratitude. Gratitude is key to stay in the grace of God. So anything that pulls you away from gratitude, anything that makes you to begin to worry, because the moment you are in worry and you know, anxiety, what it means is that you, know, you are no longer in gratitude mode. But it's going to take gratitude mode to experience the more. In Matthew chapter 14 and verse 19, the Bible makes us to realize that when Jesus was going to feed the 5,000 men with five loaves and two fishes, he asked them to do to sit down. Then he took the bread, the five loaves, what is not supposed to be enough, and gave thanks before he now put it in the hands of the disciples. Then he got into the hands of the multitudes and they realized there was enough to feed all of them. But there's a key thing that was part of that process, and that was gratitude. He gave thanks over five loaves. Can you give thanks when it does not feel like it? Can you give thanks when your feelings are shouting, nothing is working? Because that's what will keep you in grace mode. What is grace? Grace is focusing on Jesus. And gratitude helps you to achieve that. Because gratitude focuses on God and what he has done and what he's doing that you cannot even see. Rather than focusing on the problem, you, I'm talking to you now, your mind is all over the problem. Take your mind off that problem and put it on Jesus. The one that's kept you this far and the one that will give you breakthrough in that situation. What he did for you on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago is enough to convince you he loves you too much than to abandon you in that situation. And that situation will lead to victory. And the same thing that Jesus did in Matthew chapter 14, verse 19, he did it in Matthew chapter 15, verse 36. 4,000 people to be fed this time around. Seven loaves. What is seven loaves to 4,000? Do the, do, the, do the ratio. That was nothing. But in the giving of thanks of the five loaves and two of, of seven loaves, a multiplication setting, a takeover capacity was released through gratitude. Do you know what gratitude does? 
It enlarges your capacity to take more. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare you are in a position to take so much from God as you look in in gratitude. I mean, gratitude, not in worry, not in anxiety, not in despair, but in gratitude. Put on your gratitude hat and give thanks because it is the will of God. Another scripture, I believe, that Psalm 92, verse 1, it says, it is a good thing to give thanks. Ah! Ooh, kuto. It is a good thing. You know, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 says, it is the will of God. The psalmist says, it is a good thing for his message endures forever. It's a good thing. It's the will of God. And guess what? It enlarges your capacity to receive more. So irrespective of what is going on in your life, stay in gratitude. In these 21 days, and you promise me that you will never leave gratitude mode. Stay in gratitude mode. Giving thanks to the Father who has made you need to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints and the light. What was done in Christ Jesus is enough reason to keep you in gratitude forever. Even beyond what has manifested. Don't wait for manifestation to give thanks. Give thanks all the time. Because in the giving of thanks, grace is put forth and capacity multiplies. So can you promise me that you stay in gratitude? Irrespective of the report you receive, don't leave gratitude mode. Because gratitude mode is what opens you to the more of God. Wow, wow, wow. Let's have communion. I declare every single thing in your life that defiles God, that defiles your covenant, bows to the authority of Jesus. Every problem in your physical body, in your marriage, in your finances, in your career, bows to the authority of Jesus. I call you a winner, not a loser. I declare your testimony will be evident in this season. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm seeing you the same time tomorrow. Of course, I have a second session, which is for North America at 8 p.m. Chicago time. But for Nigeria, I'll be back. And please don't come alone tomorrow. Come with your friends. Come with your family. Send this link, this Zoom link to everybody around you. Say 8 p.m. Nigerian time, 7 p.m. Nigerian time. Monday to Friday, Dr. K will be live on Zoom to see you experience all that God has for you. There is a confession for the month of December, and I want us to do it together. Let's say it. I want you to say it in faith, in confidence, and say it knowing fully well that what God has done in your life is a reality. Are you ready? Let, let's, let's do our confession. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Glory to God. Say with me. Okay, I maybe it's let's let's make sure the, the, the confession is clear the next time. Maybe we need to break it down into parts. I don't know. But let's do it at least for this session. We will improve on it by tomorrow by God's grace. Say with me, I believe and therefore I speak that I'm blessed, I'm loved, I'm forgiven, I'm accepted, I'm guilt free, I'm favored, I'm purposeful, I'm helped, I'm cared, I'm whole, I'm healthy, I'm prosperous, I'm fearless, I'm carefree, I'm joyful, I'm kind, I'm gracious, I'm generous, I'm me. I'm wise, I'm sensitive to God, I'm led by God, I'm aligned to God, I'm the righteousness of God, and I'm at rest. I refuse to be overwhelmed by the storms of life. I walk on stormy waters because my gaze is on Jesus. I am not moved by boisterous and contrary winds. I'm wired to deal with everything and anything the enemy throws at me. I'm never alone because Jesus is always with me by his spirit. I'm secured in the love of God. I understand the secrets of the season, and it reflects in the way I do life, marriage, family, ministry and business. Everything is happening fast around, about, fast around me at once. I'm dripping blessing everywhere. Yes, indeed, it won't be long now. God's decree, things are going to happen so fast. My head will swing one thing fast on the heels of the other. I won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once and everywhere I look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and hills. I'm ending 2022 with renewed vision, supernatural vigor, overflowing grace, extraordinary speed, and unspeakable joy. 
I recover all and I'm positioned for God's purpose for my life in 2023. Wow, I'm excited. So we'll do this the same time tomorrow, 8 p.m. Nigerian time, 7 p.m. Chicago, I mean, 7 p.m. London time. Of course, there's a second session today strictly for North America, but it's open to you if you want to do the video with us. I'm looking forward to that. In Chicago tomorrow, I'm having a physical meeting at 9 p.m. We're gonna, you know, just push, push onto the next level in the place of prayer, three hours of prayer. That's 9 p.m. tomorrow in Chicago, but uh, we'll be having uh, the 8 p.m. session on Zoom with Chicago folks, the North America folks generally, not just Chicago, everybody in North America. On still, God bless you. Uh, if, if, if you are looking for the this uh, confession, is on my Instagram page, and you know you can go there and you know download it. God bless you. I have a beautiful and amazing time. See you tomorrow at eight pm Nigerian time and seven pm 